welcome back guys so if in our previous videos we have seen the solution of first three parts of uh, question 11 today we are going to talk about part d and e okay so let me start uh, from part d here and here we have the expression and that is x uh, equal to a b c whole complement plus b and with it i have e f plus g complement okay so uh, first step here is again the same that i have to see that how many inputs will i have so the domain of it is a b c d e f g okay so i have to write them here so uh, the domain of it is let me write it here a b c d e f and g okay so this is g and let me draw lines for them these are the input lines okay so we have these input lines okay to it i can very easily see that here we have this expression and then this expression and these are combined together by this or gate and uh, again i am not restricting restricting myself to a to gate circuit so therefore i can use uh, uh, any number of inputs to a gate as uh, uh, possible so so here i have a b c and the complement of it so let me use this first gate and that is the and gate here so the and gate here is here okay and to it first input is here second is here and third one is here so the input to it is a b c okay and what i will have here i will have here a b c and what i have to do i have to invert it so therefore i am going to use this inverter here and therefore what i will get a b c whole complement okay so this is the first uh, input which i have here and this is here this one after what i have to do here i can see that here the second part and here i have b and e f g complement while here i have to first multiply e and f and with it i have to add the g complement so let me start it with this multiplication which is inside of these brackets so let me start uh, with this multiplication so e and and f are multiplied together and here i have to use this and gate okay so this is e and this is f and the output of it is e f okay and with that this g complement is what this is added so therefore i have to use here this or gate with two inputs okay so to this one input this ef will be given while to the second one this uh, g which is inverted okay so i will get here g complement this will be given and here i will get what this will be ef plus g complement which is a part let me uh, write it with this one so this is here okay with it i have to multiply what this b uh, so here i have this one and with it i have to multiply this b okay so therefore let me use this color uh, which is let me use the same color here so the color here is this one and this is again a two input and get okay so here i have to multiply this one with what with b okay so i have here this is b which is given to it and what i will get i will get here b e f plus g complement okay so now i have these two inputs which are the two separate parts first part is here this is a first part while this one is the second part and these are combined together by this or gate okay so let me draw a final or gate with this blue color so this is a two input or gate and to it one input will be a b c uh, whole complement and the second one is this one and the output of it will be what a b c whole complement plus b e f plus g complement and this is the solution for it which i had to find out okay so this is the solution in interesting thing here is that we can see that here we have first uh, described that we will have 
these number of inputs but here we can very easily see that d is not used so um, as the domain of it was first composed of these seven inputs but as d is not used so therefore i have to see that which variable which is uh, not available here i have to remove it in the first step uh, here i have solved it and to show you that this is in between them and it is not used so therefore i will not use it either but the domain of it will be composed of a b c d e f uh, or uh, sorry a b c e f g okay so these three and these three these will be composed of the domain of it okay so this is the solution of part d here okay uh, similarly for part e let me move around somehow okay so uh, for part e here let me write the statement for it and that is x equal to a b c a plus b plus c plus d okay so here i have this question so uh, what are the steps here uh, the first step is to see how many inputs do i have here so again the number of inputs are 4 a b c and d okay so uh, let me solve it by moving somehow downward so this is here so let me start solving it and to here the number of inputs uh, will be what let me start solving it here so a b c and d and these are one two three four okay so what is the first step i can very easily see that here in this bracket uh, these four are added together and then these are multiplied with this bc okay so here these bc are added together okay and these are all together okay so let me use different color for them uh, for it i am going to use uh, this color and for it i am going to use or let me use the same color for it so the same color for it will be for the a plus b plus c plus d i am going to use uh, this or gate so this or gate will be here with four inputs okay so one two three four and the output of it will be here so to it i will have this one a b c okay and d and the output of it will be a plus b plus c plus d okay and with it uh, i will have b c so b c is this and gate and to it i have two inputs so uh, b c will be this will be here okay so this is b and this one is here okay so these are the two inputs taken from it and i will have here b c okay so now we can see that uh, very clearly that here i have b while here i have c and these are multiplied together which can be seen here and this is by using this and get okay so here i have to use a two input and get to which i will have two inputs this is a first input this is the second input and to it i will have here the output of it will be b c a plus b plus c plus d okay so this is what this is the overall uh, thing which is here and this one is now here okay with which i have to multiply here a and this is another and gate with the different color i am being using here okay so another and gate and to it the output of it will be here the two inputs are applied here the first one is here the first input will be here while the second input which is a will be okay this is here and here i have a and the output of it will be x and x will be the product of this and this and the output of it will be what x will be a multiplied by b c multiplied by a plus b plus c plus d okay and that is what that is the output which i wanted to find out here yeah, okay so this is the solution for our question and we have seen the 
circuit implementation for the expression which is given here okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of two quest two parts of our question